right, people, how's it going? Gonna try to make a quick video for you. Don't know how well it's gonna work or not. Um, mainly this is, I don't know if any of you people out there have uh, recently watched any of El Presor's videos. He put up another one is here late last night or first thing this morning that was pretty interesting. Now, I love El Presor. The dude, you know, knows when to troll. He knows how to get people worked up. And he knows how to uh, bring the hate, as Bond would say. Um, but his latest video is playing the Uncharted 3 bait, multiplayer beta. And some of his people are some of the dumbest fucking retards on the planet. And the reason why I'm saying that is because while he's playing it, he's comparing it to Gears of War 3. And he's saying that, you know, he was no good at Gears 3, he didn't really like it too much, couldn't get into it, steep learning curve, couldn't get used to the controls. He did, he did not say it was a bad game. He didn't say it was a bad game at all. And he even said, too, it's like, I'm not saying it's a bad game. If you like it and if you can play it, good. He just prefers Uncharted better. And you see all these comments about people saying, oh, see how President War thinks Gears of War sucks and Uncharted is... You know, 10 times or 100 times better? No. Nah. Dumbasses, watch the video, turn off the fanboy filter, and actually listen. Nowhere does he ever say that the um, that Gears is crap or not as good as Uncharted. He just says he prefers Uncharted better. Alright, so and that's just one thing about fanboys. I know they're going to pick and choose what they want to hear anyway. Not much you can do about it. Uh, moving on, you got Pyro. One of his latest videos is saying how much better the Uncharted beta, how it owns the Battlefield 3 beta. Really, fucking, a beta is a beta. And from what I understand, what they released for battlefield 3 and i'm not a battlefield 3 fanboy honestly i'm getting burned out of first person shooters was from a build a couple of months ago that probably should have been put out now if that's true or not who knows you can only go by what you're being told the uncharted multiplayer is basically what you're going to get in the game and also too why are people comparing uncharted 3 to battlefield in the first place and why are they even Oh shit, dude, that was a taxi cab on the motherfucking strip that used his blinker to change lanes. Did you guys see that? You will never see that happen again. Nobody uses their fucking blinker on the strip, let alone a cab. Holy fucking shit. Oh well, anyway. Like, so why are people comparing those anyway? I mean, they're different fucking games. Gears 3 is more... Uh, to me, it's still an action platformer. It's not a fucking guy. Uh, see, now he's not using his blinker right there. Told you would never see it again. Nobody uses their fucking blinker to change lanes on the fucking strip, I swear to God. Anyway, it's not a fucking full-on third-person shooter. It's a third-person action platformer. And I'll stand by that every day of the week. Um, where was I going? So, yeah, and also, too, the Battlefield, first-person versus third-person, two completely different games, man. You people that fucking compare all these games saying one's better than the other, you gotta compare apples and apples, man. You can't compare apples and oranges. It's like if you're trying to say a, uh, I don't know, I wanna throw this out there. If you're gonna say like a fucking 2011 Camaro is miles better than a 2011 uh, Dodge Ram. You know, one's a fucking car, one's a fucking truck. Apples and oranges, people. You can't fucking compare them. I mean, yeah, you can try, but you sound fucking stupid. Uh, one last thing I want to get over real quick here is, I know I'm a little late, but I've been working all week and been working my ass off, so I haven't had a chance to make a video. Uh, my team, the 49ers, man, 3-1 and one after four weeks, after a 20-point come-from-behind victory against Philadelphia. San Francisco, though, they don't really talk about them much. They're still pretty much under the radar, mainly because they come out of the NFC West. But what I find amazing is with that comeback win, it was more about how the Eagles imploded versus how well San Francisco did in that game. So it's almost like they were getting respect. And what I mean by that is look at the Detroit-Dallas game. Detroit came from 24 points back 
you know, their second straight game where they were down by 20 points or more that they would come back and win. And as equal parts, damn, the Lions fucking came back, and holy shit, Dallas fucking blew it. You know, when you listen to sports. It, it, it was both sides. It was 50-50. The San, San Francisco, though, it was like 95-5. It was 95% Eagles blew it, 5% San Francisco won it. It kind of annoys me, but, you know, they're under the radar. Nobody's really paying attention to them. And when they win that NFC West and do decent in the playoffs, you know, then they're going to start talking. So, yeah. And also, about that Cowboys loss, um, I loved it, of course. I'm fucking not a Dallas fan. I will say, though, man, a lot of people are fucking pointing the blame at Tony Romo. And I don't think you can necessarily do that. You know, it's got to be some coaching you got to put behind there, too, because you're up by 24 points in the second half of the game. Why are you throwing the ball so damn much? Please answer me that. Why are you throwing the ball so fucking much? Run the damn ball. You were doing pretty well in the run during the game. Why are you fucking throwing? And on top of that, Romo, yeah, he makes sometimes, well, not sometimes, but a lot of times, he'll make stupid mistakes at unopportune times. And he gets grilled for it. Of course, that's also from Dallas fans. They're a fickle bunch. But compare him to Brett Favre. Now, I know you're going to say you can't compare him to Brett Favre, blah, blah. Yeah, I can. Why? Because they're both fucking gunslingers. The difference is, is that Favre, of course, has multiple playoff victories, and he has a Super Bowl victory. But you see, like, Favre can never do any wrong. He made stupid plays at big points in games, too. I mean, look at that championship game when he was with uh, Minnesota against the Saints. He threw a couple of bad passes, and, you know, the game pretty much, they were driving for the winning deal, and he throws a fucking interception when all they needed was a field goal to win it. But, of course, everybody gets far of, far of a pass. And why is that? Uh, could be any number of reasons. Could be that, um, you know, he's Brett Favre has been in the league as long as he had. He's proved that he can win. But he's a fucking gunslinger just as much as anybody. And, uh, God, are you fucking kidding me? Shit, I don't know what's going on up here. I hate when we have fucking parts of the street closed. Anyway, Romo is as much of a gunslinger as Favre. You know, the difference is with one Super Bowl championship. Because if you try to talk bad about Favre, especially the Green Bay fan... You know, they'll defend him, even though he made a lot of super plays in his life, made a lot of big-ass mistakes. And you don't believe me? Well, there's a reason why he's the career leader in interceptions. That's all i got to say. All right, that's enough for now. A lot of good games coming up this weekend. Definitely looking forward to Detroit and Chicago on Monday night. And to summarize, fucking El Presidor fanboys, learn to fucking open your ears and listen. Uh, Pyro... You and your fans, you know, I can't really say much because you're all fucking retarded. You're not going to listen anyway. So I was just going to say, you know, learn to differentiate between different types of games and then stop comparing shit that shouldn't be compared. And finally, once again, much love to San Francisco. Three and one. Nobody expects them to be playing as well as they are. Jim Harbaugh, dude's got him playing well, man. He's got him playing hard throughout the entire game. All right, I've done enough, man.